Hey everyone, it's Lee Ashby here from Lash eBikes in Bendigo, Australia. And I just wanted to do a quick video of the electric skateboard battery that I've um, put together. And at the same time I wanted to test out this software, uh, OBS software it's called, uh, to record uh, videos. Uh, so yeah, here's the pack here. It's a 10S3P pack for electric skateboard. Uh, so it's one cell high. Um, and here is the finished sort of product in um, shrink wrap. Now the shrink wrap didn't uh, actually come on the best. It was um, probably a little bit large for this pack. So the finish is not ideal, but um, it came on okay. It does the, it does the job. Probably looks worse in this photo than it, than it actually is. Um, and I finished it off with some, some black tape here. Uh, but as you can see, I've got the BMS sort of poking at the end here. And I've got the um, positive and negative discharge leads uh, coming out at the ends and they bypass the BMS uh, altogether um, and you've got the negative and positive lead here um, for the BMS basically to be used for charging only um, so let's have a, yeah, a bit of a, a different kind of view there so you see it sort of comes out of the center just got some foam on here at the moment just to protect it for delivery uh, but the benefit of this is you, you can um, sort of mount it, uh, be a bit more flexible with the mounting options, with it sort of poking at the end like that, or even take it off completely, um, up to you. But basically, yeah, it's a, a three parallel pack. Um, so here's the negative end, it flows down uh, this way here, going down here. And I'll show you the end, the changeover point where it joins on to the next pack in a minute. Um, but basically what I wanted to show you was this sort of layout, um, sort of going lengthways um, down that way like that. I see a lot of other people uh, doing their skateboard batteries um, basically um, sort of horizontal across the board, if you like, with the cells, whereas these ones are sort of connected in, in series lengthways, the, with the cell being in lengthways. Um, and I reckon there's a few advantages, advantages of doing it the way I've done. Uh, you might be able to see in uh, this next picture. I'll show you the next picture in a minute. Um, but yeah, so 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 basically, sort of down the end of the pack, you got this one. Sorry. And I wanted to talk about this sort of changeover point. So the, with this layout, I only have to do this once, do a connection like this once. Um, whereas the other layout, you'd have to do this type of connection about four times. Um, so in this this one. This layer, you only need to do this once, and this provides the best, um, the best uh, current delivery, uh, current sharing uh, delivery. Um, so with do, doing this once, we've got a 25 mil uh, strip of nickel strip folded over. Um, this is 0.2 uh, millimeters thick as well. So basically, this will add up to being 0.24. Um, which is probably enough for this pack, but I thought, what the heck, I'll chuck a 8 org uh, wire on here as well. So I soldered that on to this nickel strip first, and then I nickel, uh, then spot weld um, the nickel strip um, down to the battery. So that's how I do those ends to allow for plenty of current share. So this is what I was talking about here um, with the cells in this layout. The current is um, able to be shared a bit more uh, going this way as opposed um, to doing them like this all the time with the ends if they were sort of laid out that way as opposed to that way, if that makes sense. Um, so that's how it folds over. So I spot weld those with the cells being upright and then basically just fold the groups and then you get, get this kind of formation. And here's, um, you can see the um, this special filament packing tape that I got. I got that from Bunnings. Um, it's quite good. It's got this sort of filament uh, strip in it. So that really keeps it really nice and strong, sort of an industrial sort of strength tape. Now in between these groups, I use a little bit of craft foam just to sort of help keep them separated. Uh, there's another bit of an angle there. And this is um, showing the ends a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, basically nothing really that exciting here. That's, I use this special sort of electrical glue tape. Electrical tape uh, glue. You just sort of glue it on out of a tube. That's just to help sort of protect the ends a little bit from either unexpected shorts or um, even any little moisture or rust or anything growing on there. We don't want any of that. 
Uh, so I've used this sort of center channel here um, to run the wires down uh, the middle, which I think we can see on, oh, we'll see them in the next picture. But basically this is the flip side um, of this other picture of the, of the fold of that nickel strip as it bends. Um, so just put a little bit of tape on here just on these ends to because um, they're quite sharp um, so just to prevent them from cutting through into the shrink wrap and so you'll see a little bit of sneaky BMS wire running down this center channel uh, here's a bit more of a close-up so we've got the um, the BMS wire at the end uh, running at the end there down in between the cells so it sort of cruises down there and as we go down then we get more and more wires um, and they're just sort of soldered on at different points. So they basically just join up and, and flow out the end. Uh, there's a picture of the BMS without the covering up with the foam. Um, so it's basically just gonna be used for charging to help balance the cells as we charge. Uh, anyway, that's about it. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, if you want to check out more pictures and things, you can check out leashby.com. Otherwise, that's it. Cheers.